Good day. <clears throat> I didn't expect that. Good day, chemist in Japan. Uh, this is just a, uh, a rambling update of sorts, just talking about what's going on. Um, <clears throat> I haven't um, made a video from home in a long time, it seems. Most of the videos I post lately are made from work. Uh, mainly for two reasons that um, my I spend most of my time there and most of the videos that I've been making lately are chemistry related so I take them in the lab uh, and I have a better camera uh, in the lab than I do here at home this is just the standard eyesight camera which is right there uh, on top of my MacBook Pro monitor um, but I, you know, I don't care for the video as much I prefer the other video which is a little bit higher quality and um, so I've been mainly doing stuff there at work. Tonight I'm I'm drinking some Pellegrino. I was uh, I I like Pellegrino and Perrier uh, because it's it's mineral water, and people <laughs> think I'm a snob or whatever for drinking it, but it really just just tastes good. Um, in the case of Pellegrino, it's a water. That it's spring water that's collected in Italy. Excuse me, <clears throat> and um, the water apparently passes through a layer of uh, calcium carbonate um, before they take it out or wherever it comes out. Um, and when it passes through the the layer of calcium carbonate, you get a little bit of carbonation in the water, and it tastes very nice. I don't like drinking regular tonic water because it has a lot of sugar in it. They it's about you know has about as much sugar as you know regular coke or something and I don't really prefer that um, the this um, mineral water doesn't have anything but uh, some carbonation minerals and they add a little bit of sodium they add 10 10 milligrams of sodium and uh, but it does give you four per, does give you four percent of your daily value recommended daily value of calcium and that's for 237 milliliters. That's per serving. And each container contains about three servings. This is a um, this is a 750 milliliter bottle. But I drink these from time to time. Um, one of the other things I when I moved into this house um, <clears throat> with my roommate back in June, um, we have the advantage of having Verizon FiOS here. And FiOS is one of the television services on which you can get. J TV Japan, which is uh, NHK programming here in the U.S., and I uh, I enjoy watching news programs mainly. I watch the morning and evening news, except in the U.S. they're switched. So in the evening you watch the morning news, Ohio Nippon, and in the evening you watch News Watch Nine. And um, there's another news program that comes on. I think it's in the middle. I think it's in the middle of the day sometime. I have it set to record so I don't keep track of it. But it's called, um, um, I think, on the English on the English menu uh, program guide, it calls it like Morning Market or something like that, something strange like that. But uh, the actual program is Asaichi, um, and it's on NHK. And they talk about different things. They, you know, they have a cooking session section that's usually at the end of it, and then they have this guy that runs around Japan and trying food, and they talk about news stuff, and it's it's about an hour and a half long every day, and they just talk about stuff. And on July twenty fifth, they did uh, this story on 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 uh, Tansansui, which is what this is. Tansansui, it's mineral water, it's carbonated water. Tansan is a uh, carbonic acid um, and sui is water so tansan sui apparently has been very it's very popular with uh, with uh, women in Japan and I wondered if this was true and so I sent an email to my uh, my Japanese teacher and she said yes she loves tansan sui but uh, carbonated mineral water but I worry I, I worry about drinking this too much because it is slightly acidic and because it is slightly acidic it will demineralize your teeth if you drink it too much and so um, I tend to brush my teeth after drinking it or at the very least I chew some gum uh, to help remove to the acid from my mouth 
Also, just drinking regular water will get rid of it, too. But uh, it's very good, but I worry what it does to my teeth because my teeth aren't that great to begin with. Now, stop looking at my teeth, but they're not that great to begin with. So, um, but anyway, I, I love, I love Pellegrino. It's, it, it's, it's, ref, lo, real, it's very refreshing at certain times, but there are other times when I just want a big glass of, uh, uh, of water. And when I want to drink water, I, I have my, my beaker here, my 1000 mil beaker. I drink out of this. Um, I used to have a big two liter round bottom flask, but I, I think it's at my parents' house can't remember. Anyway, so rambling, rambling vlog, rant vlog. Um, pretty soon I will actually be chemist in Japan. Uh, according to my countdown timer, yes, I am that big of a nerd. I've got 27 days, 13 hours, 36 minutes, 49 seconds uh, until departure. But more importantly, in 17 days, 21 hours, 51 minutes, 41 seconds, the fall semester will come to an end and this semester, which has been complete and utter hell for me, will be over. And if all goes well, I will pass my class, my last two classes, and I will be done with classes. And then next semester, all I will do is research and write. Um, I'm trying to write a paper right now, and it's killing me, because I'm just not very good at, at uh, writing papers. I'm much better at doing experiments. <laughs> doing reactions in the lab, collecting data, much more so than I am at writing a paper. So this has been, uh, this is my first paper that I have ever written myself, and it's, um, it's, it seems much easier than it, than it is. It's very deceiving. You know, I, I've, I obviously read many, 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 many scientific papers because I need to read literature to know what the heck's going on, but, um, it's deceivingly simple. You know, oh, I can just write that stuff, and and you. But when you actually sit down to, to write a scientific paper for that you plan to submit to a journal, it's really difficult. You know, trying to organize all the data in a logical fashion, and um, it's uh, it's been quite a challenge for me to 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 learn this skill. And my professor has been very patient with me. And uh, I think he's been patient with me. He's really looking for me to finish this. Because after I finish this, I then have to start writing my thesis. And I need to write my thesis very quickly uh, because I need to defend by sometime in March next year so that I can graduate in May. But um, So I'm getting close to being done with my master's, and, and after that we'll see what's going to happen. But one of the big purposes of my trip to Japan, other than to to see people who I haven't seen in four years. It's been, it's been about four years since my last trip to Japan, and I miss it greatly. But um, I actually have some meetings set up to uh, go see some professors at uh, universities there. It's not the greatest time of the year to visit um, with uh, Oshogatsu, you know, the Nenmatsu, nan Nenmatsu time is just not risky. <laughs> the best time to go. Uh, so my meetings are in the new year and um, I'm very nervous. I'm very, very, very nervous about meeting people, about possibly getting into a Japanese university to finish my PhD. And there's, um, there's several professors um, who I want to contact, but I'm just... <laughs> I've already contacted one and I have a meeting um, at his lab in January at the beginning of the year on the 11th. I'll be going and seeing him uh, and his other associates, the people, other, you know, associate professors, assistant professors, associate professors that work for him. Um, but there's some other people I want to try to try to email and set up meetings with and hopefully that will go well. I think my professor is saying good things about me in his recommendation letters. I'm not sure because I don't get to read them. So I don't know what's actually in there, <laughs> in them. So, you know, as much as I should be, I guess, excited and looking forward to this trip, I'm actually, I'm actually rather worried and kind of freaked out. Um, 
I I don't have to speak Japanese very often here in Texas because there just aren't that many Japanese people for me to encounter. So I mainly read Japanese and I listen to Japanese and I write Japanese because that's the interaction online and also watching television. I don't have to speak Japanese very often. And it's been four years, you know, since I've been in an environment where I need to speak it on a regular basis. And so it kind of bothers me a little bit. You know, I can sit down and read a magazine, but, you know, talking to people is, is a completely different skill. I'm not good at talking to people in general, uh, even in English. I sometimes, you know, get my thoughts mixed up. Obviously, you're watching my videos, you know, you should know that I have difficulty just conveying information in English, much less in Japanese, so... But I haven't had to speak it on a regular basis for prolonged periods of time about scientific stuff, chemistry stuff, in a long time. And so I wonder, you know, will I be able to get back on my feet <laughs> in time? Because I'll be there for 18 days. I leave on the 26th, and I will arrive on the 27th in, in, in Japan. And I'll be there until Friday the 13th. I fly home on Friday the 13th which is a coincidence. I don't know if it bothers me or not. I'm not, I'm not entirely uh, uh, superstitious. But, um, you know, will I be able to get back on my feet in time to have this meeting? You know, are they going to do the meeting in English or Japanese? Um, and the more I think about that, the less excited I become and the more worried and anxious and fearful and scared that I become. But I'm trying to focus on things that I like doing, riding trains, eating at Coco Ichibanya, seeing friends, and finally meeting some of the um, the YouTube people who, with whom I have uh, communicated so often online these last several years. So anyway, so that's what I'm, what's going on with me. I'm hopefully we'll write this paper and and it will get published and life will be good. But um, I really suggest um, uh, Pellegrino. Have some Pellegrino sometime. It's very, very good. Um, another thing that I really enjoy doing is taking a little bit of vodka, just a little bit of vodka, and putting, in it, putting it into the Pellegrino. And it gives it a very good flavor, um, especially if you use a very good vodka. Um, just, you know, I sometimes will, sometimes will do like um, 50 mils of uh, vodka to 150 mils of uh, Pellegrino, so 200 mils total volume. But um, I'll post a link if you're interested. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll post a link if you're interested in reading about the um, the Tansan series stuff from Asaichi. It's still on their website, so I'll post that down below if you're at all interested. But anyway, just a, a rambling update. I'll. Um, post more information later as, as time gets closer. I will be renting another, uh, renting a cell phone while I'm in Japan. Actually, I'm kind of excited because I'll, this is the first time that I'll have rented a smartphone. It's actually an, uh, it's an Android, HTC Android Evo, EVO, WiMAX phone. So I'm, in, I'm excited about that, having internet access. That's not, I've not had that before um, in the past, so I'm excited about that. So I'll be online, but um, I'm hoping to try to arrange to see some people uh, while I'm there. So anyway, thanks for watching.